Hello, I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Good job. And today we're going to go over leafy greens for rabbits. We're going to talk about which ones are actually safe for them, and then which ones you should try to avoid. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We give you tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead and hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. As part of a healthy and balanced rabbit's diet, we need to give them some leafy greens every day. Now leafy greens for rabbits can be anything from herbs to salad greens to even the trimmings from other fruits and vegetables that we eat. Leafy greens are very important for rabbits because they will give them the nutrients and vitamins to help them stay healthy and have a balanced diet. As a rule of thumb, you want to try to give your rabbit three or four different kinds of leafy greens on a daily basis. This will make sure that they have more of a variety of the nutrients and vitamins in their daily diet. But there are so many different kinds of leafy greens to choose from that you can, you know, try different kinds, see what your rabbit likes, and then you can give your rabbit the types of greens that they like best on a daily basis. So first let's go over the best types of leafy greens for you to give your rabbit. Most common herbs that we use in our cooking are actually very good for rabbits. So anything from basil, thyme, sage, cilantro, rosemary, dill, Anything like that is actually very good for rabbits, so get some fresh bundles of those from the grocery store and give your rabbit some of that every day. Leafy lettuces, so the kinds that have the leaves and are not just the crunchy part of the leaf, are also very good for rabbits. So romaine, butter lettuce, leafy green, leafy red, anything along those lines, that is very good for rabbits. Any kind of mint plant is also good for rabbits, so that family. So it includes basil, like I mentioned earlier, but also spearmint, peppermint. These are very good for rabbits and often are very yummy for them also. Something like dandelion leaves is actually very good for rabbits. You can even get these from your garden as long as you know that there are no pesticides or fertilizers that were used that are dangerous to rabbits. You can also get them in some grocery stores, which is pretty cool because rabbits do actually really love dandelion leaves. They're very high in nutrients and very yummy for rabbits. Most fruit and vegetable leaves are actually good for rabbits, so something like strawberry tops, carrot tops, the broccoli leaves, celery leaves. Most things along those lines are very good for rabbits and they are safe to give to them. They're healthy treats. Sometimes I like cutting off the strawberry top, leaving a little bit of the strawberry on there for a treat for my rabbit, and then giving her the leaves. It's a great way to both give her a healthy snack and, you know, a really yummy sweet snack too. Grasses. Grasses are very good for rabbits. Uh, if you're taking any grass from your garden, you do want to, again, make sure that there are no pesticides or fertilizers that were used that would be poisonous to rabbits. But you can also grow your own. So I grow some of my own wheatgrass so I can give my rabbit a little bit every once in a while. You can also use other types of grasses as well. Lemongrass, ryegrass. They're also good for rabbits. Cabbage. Cabbage is also good for rabbits. Um, and this can be pretty much any kind of rabbit, so the ones, the leafy parts and even the inside, but the leafy parts are a little bit better. If you're looking in Asian markets or places that maybe don't have your typical fruits, you can also go for bok choy or yu choy. Something like that is actually very nutritious for rabbits. Or even spring greens like watercress or arugula, those are very good for rabbits. But you do want to make sure you double check each kind that you do because some types of spring greens can be given to rabbits pretty much as much as they want, whereas some types you want to limit the amount that you give them because they have a little bit higher concentration of chemicals that are not as good for rabbits. And that is a good chance for me to segue into my next list, which is leafy greens that it's okay to give your rabbit, but you do want to limit the quantity that you give them just because they have a higher concentration of what's known as oxalic acid. Now, in order to harm your rabbit, they really need to be eating a whole lot of veggies that have this oxalic acid in them. So honestly, even if you give your rabbit a lot of these greens that I'm going to mention next, it's probably fine. It's really just a precaution for you to limit them. But it is something to be aware of and think, 
only give your rabbit about a third of their daily veggies in this category every day. In general, this is going to be the leafy veggies that have a darker color most of the time. Well, that's not always going to be the indication. That's that's kind of a general idea is if it's a darker leafy green, then just limit it to about a third of what you give your rabbit a day. So kale is in this category. It's been very popular lately, is often used in salads. It is still very good for rabbits, but you just want to limit it to about a third of what you give your rabbit a day if that's one of the foods that they like best. Spinach is also in this category. This includes both the big leafy spinach and also baby spinach. It's still very nutritious to give your rabbit spinach every day, but just make sure that you limit it. Likewise, mustard greens are very healthy for rabbits. They have actually very high nutrition, but they have a higher level of that oxalic acid, so you want to limit the amount that you give your rabbit daily. The only herb that you would give your rabbit on a daily basis that has higher levels of this oxalic acid is parsley. Now parsley can be a big favorite among rabbits, so yes, it's definitely okay to still give your rabbits parsley, but just try to limit it a little bit. Add in some cilantro and some leafy lettuce and you'll be fine. Any type of chard, am I pronouncing that right? I've only ever seen this word written, so if it's not pronounced chard, let me know. <laughs> but Swiss chard, red chard, rainbow chard, anything like that. It's also very good for your rabbit, very nutritious, but you know, just keep it to a small portion of what you give your rabbit in leafy greens every day. If you want to know exactly the balance of leafy greens to pellets to hay that you should have in your rabbit's diet every day, and the exact amount that you should give your rabbit based on their weight, then I do have a Rabbit Diet 101 video that would be really awesome for you to check out. It's got really everything that you need to know about a rabbit's diet so that you can make sure that your rabbit's diet is very healthy so that they can continue to be a healthy and happy bunny in your home. Now, while most leafy greens will fall into one of the first two categories where they're perfectly safe to give as much as you want or, you know, maybe limit it a little bit but still safe for your rabbit, there are still a few types of leafy greens that you definitely want to avoid giving your rabbit. The first one is iceberg lettuce. While leafy lettuces are okay for rabbits, iceberg lettuce is not. Iceberg lettuce has a high concentration of a chemical known as lac. Tarum? Wait, let me check that. Lactucarium. <laughs> and this is not going to be harmful to your rabbit on the short term, but over time it can end up building up in your rabbit's gut. So if they get iceberg lettuce on a daily basis, then it can end up causing digestive problems later on. And in addition, Iceberg lettuce really doesn't have that much nutritional value for rabbits. It's basically empty calories. So a rabbit will eat the lettuce, not get any nutrition from it, but they'll fill up from the lettuce instead of eating their hay. While in the short term, if your rabbit eats a piece of lettuce, it's fine. <laughs> they'll be okay. It's not something that you want to give them in the long run because it's not good for their health and they're really just not getting any nutritional value from it. Tomato leaves are also something you want to avoid. So while many fruits and vegetables, you can pick off the tops or cut off the tops and give them to your rabbit, that is not the case with tomatoes because tomato leaves and stems and anything except the tomato fruit basically are mildly poisonous to rabbits. So you don't want to give those to your rabbit. Well, a tiny bit, like if they got a tiny bite of it, they will be fine, don't panic. But you don't want to give them to your rabbits, especially in any high quantities. But tomato fruit is still okay for rabbits, that you can give them tomatoes as a little treat every once in a while. But it should be treated as a treat and only the fruit. <laughs> rhubarb and rhubarb leaves are another type of vegetable and leaf that you don't want to give your rabbit at all. If you give them in high enough quantity, this could end up causing diarrhea and poisoning your rabbit, basically. Again, don't panic if your rabbit got a bite of rhubarb or a rhubarb leaf or something like that. They will still likely be fine, especially if it was just a small amount. But it is something you definitely want to avoid giving your rabbit because it is poisonous. Likewise, with potato leaves or any kind of stems or roots or anything coming from potatoes, you do not want to give that to your rabbit. Even the potatoes themselves are much too starch heavy and are not good for rabbits. Anything potato leaves, any kind of potato, it could be yam, it could be golden potatoes, baby potatoes, just don't give it. Don't give that to your rabbit. Don't give the leaves to your rabbit. 
they are mildly poisonous. And then just anything that you are not 100% sure is safe for your rabbit, avoid giving it to your rabbit. So if you get a new type of leafy green that maybe you've never given them before and you're not sure, look it up online first before giving it to your rabbit because, you know, you never know. It might be okay, it will likely be okay, but you want to check because you know, you don't want to give your rabbit something that is actually poisonous to them. If you want more information about rabbit diet, then I do definitely recommend checking out that Rabbit Diet 101 video that I mentioned earlier. It will go into all of the details that you need about their hay, their leafy greens, their pellets, even their water, and it can tell you how many treats that your rabbit can have on a daily basis. So check that out. I'll put a link somewhere. <laughs> And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.